Hello everyone, welcome to Milkeith Academy. So in the previous video, we had learned how to sign up for Microsoft 365 A1 account for students. As for confirmation, I have received an email from Microsoft that uh, Office 365 A1 for student subscription is ready to use. I received this confirmation on my official email account that I used to create my Office 365 account while I was signing up in the previous video. And again, uh, guys, this email account, this school name, I used this for demonstration and it has nothing to do with the actual school or something like that. Now let's sign in. So you have to input your email ID here. But before signing in, let me uh, tell you one thing that Microsoft 365 email ID and your, school, your school's official email ID are different. So here in my case, this is my Microsoft 365 email ID and this is my school official email ID. So every time you are trying to log in, use your Microsoft 365 email ID. So you have to input your email ID here and I'm copying and pasting my email ID and click on next. And guys, whatever links I'm using here, I will put all the links in the description box. So you can also check from there. So click on next. And you have to input your password. So I'm inputting my password here. After clicking sign in, this window will appear. Here it is asking you to reduce the number of times. So if you want to say yes, so you can say yes or no. So whatever you want, you can do it here. I'm clicking on no. So this is the interface of your Office 365 account. So as you can see here, there are a lot of apps like Outlook, OneDrive, MS Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and so on. So we are dealing with this Teams because we are creating a Teams account for our school or educational institution. And uh, here you can see, if you click on this button, you can see all the apps that, I, that are provided to you in this uh, Office product 365 J1. So what I'm going to do, I'm clicking on this admin button because uh, we are adding our faculty members and our students here. So you, you can add your IDs of your faculty and your students from the admin panel. So in the couple of videos that are coming in the future are all focused on how to add users and how to use this admin panel. Because a lot of uh, heavy or hard work we have to do in this admin panel. So this is the admin interface. So, so as, as you can see, there are a lot of settings and uh, buttons here. So I will be explaining all of these one by one. So for starting from the home button, when you click on this home button, so it is asking you to finish off some things. Why it is always showing here, let me take the current screen. Okay. So, finish setting of Office 365 A1 for faculty. So, where, as I discussed with you that you can provide your own domain name for your Microsoft 365 account. So, you can do this thing from here. So, go to setup. Here it will ask you, you can provide your domain here. So, you have to link it with your uh, server and all that. I will be uh, making this video later on. Currently, I am using this on Microsoft.com domain because uh, it is easier for this uh, this time. But later on, I will uh, show you how can you add your own domain into Microsoft 365. So I am using this Mansa Punjab on Microsoft.com domain from now on. And it will be added to all my faculty members' emails and my students' emails. And so I'm selecting this and click after that, click on use this domain. And after that, it will 
it is asking you to add users and connect the mail. So I'm not doing adding the users here. Currently, it is showing that you have 5,000 faculty license and 4,999 4, are remaining because one domain is assigned to the admin of this uh, account and uh, as i told you that before when we are signing up that we must be very specific about uh, this account name because this this account is for admin so all administrative work is done here so i will do click on do this later because i'm not doing it here so finally my setup is complete and you can write your any comments here and to that go click on go to admin center so it is very simple and it is self explanatory that uh, what is happening here you can go to admin center now after the home button now we come to this user part when you click on this user part you can see here there are active users contacts guest users or deleted users so in when i click on active users but who are active users the current users the current students who are active means uh, the actual students of your institution of your school or college are uh, comes in the, this active users contacts are the same thing what are your various contacts like faculty contacts and guest users who are not part of your organization or guest users and deleted user that whatever user you delete it goes to this deleted user in the next video i will show you how you can add users at faculty and students uh, in admin panel and so stay tuned uh, thank you so much for watching this video